Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, let's do a recap of Arena Season 19. Let's talk about the changes we saw this season. We'll take a look at some of my loadouts and then some video capture of some examples along with the final 15 minutes. All right, let's get right into this. So the, the first thing we saw were some new costumes. Obviously, we got the new Sniper Demos, who gives us a wind option. And it's not like he replaced Noel. A lot of people are running them side by side, of course, pairing it with Saryu. Now, there are a lot of build options for him. It's the same thing with Noel. You can build them. See here, I have like some boon, a uh, boon haste weapon so that he can get his skills off. And then this just boosts his Agi a little bit. Of course, you could go full cooldown or really slam the Agi or give him Agi memoirs. Depends on who you're pairing him with, etc. So this is with um, Lacrima Lavanya. This actually had a lot of success on defense. So Lacrima Lavanya really boosts his wind damage. Um, I didn't see a single other person using Lacrima Lavanya, though. That was just, I, I love him. And you see, I got him up to A4 now. That's something... Uh, a change for me this season. So, okay, we have the introduction of, uh, of Demas. And, of course, uh, I've talked about him already in my review. But now that I've got to use him, um, I can maybe give an updated opinion. I think he's great in general. Uh, he really can suffer on auto attacks of less than four, which is a bummer, of course. But because he has that Tempest Pursuit, his skills do crazy damage. So... He's a somewhat reliable sniper, and he'll at least help uh, fill in that that action in the AA and, and help you block the enemy from, from acting then anyway. But then, you know, as long as he lives, which he does have a lot higher HP than Noel, he's bulkier, uh, those, those skills are going to do crazy damage because they will hit that passive requirement. So overall, I like him a lot. Then, of course, we got the introduction of Udeal. Here I have him built for max HP, no recovery. So HP, Mems, and then just HP, Swords. These were the ones in my bank that were the highest HP. There are some others floating around out there. Like, if you have them 90 they might work better for you. Uh, you can always just sort your own weapons by HP to, to find what's best for you. And then, of course, HP Debris. This is my uh, my loadout that I call Full Chunk. <laughs> so I was really surprised. Uh, with this team, tanking is back on the menu. If you're up against like a, a scary CDR team, then, you know, with all of the damage reduction from Demos and Udeal, the crit reduction from Udeal, and then the healing from Gale. Now, Gale also helps Demos get to 100% Agi because he can only get 90 here. And she has the passive. All right, she helps tank. She has the damage reduction, which synergizes really well with Udeal because Griff has it innately, but Udeal doesn't. And this team was really successful, and you'll see that in my capture. Okay, then um, along with Udeal being introduced, New Year Marie found uh, some uh, usage resurfacing. So this was kind of my like light meme team. It's not really a meme, but it's just so stupid strong. I, I really love it. And so, you know, sorry, you can buff everyone's light damage with skill one here. Marie does the same thing with her character skill. And I have her, you might not, I got lucky to get this weapon. So this is cool because it's offhand. It helps her like have a shorter animation. And then uh, my crow here is just a stupid damage. Now, here's the thing. Uh, sp both Saryu and crow have a party crit passive. You notice all of these have pretty much 100 crit rate. So when Udeal reduces it, if he lives, <laughs> if he lives through AA, uh, then, you know, it's not reduced as much. And then you have uh, crit buffing skills, both on this weapon and this weapon. So that works really well. The other thing here that's tricky uh, is, you know, for the opponent is that all three have bold vigor somewhere. So Crow has bold vigor in the passives, and then we have bold vigor in the subs here, and bold vigor in the subs. So whoever you didn't target is coming for you. But obviously you can outpace that team because there's a character skill. 
Okay, still using this sometime. That's an old one. You can check that out in some old videos. This was a cool experiment. I forgot to put up his defense. Old team. Okay, so a variation. The, the team I used to always use with Wife, Demos, and then the tank. Now the tank is Udeal. So you'll see me use that a little bit. I didn't really use that too much. However, I did have like a CDR version of this up, and I was getting a lot of defense wins. And really all it was is I had just, on that Lavanya team you saw, I had just put Udeal in Lavanya's place. So he was completely built offensively and really throws people off. And someone had that team up too, and a slightly different team, and really threw me off. Because a lot of times if you see you deal, you bring wife and you're not ready for the whole team to be coming at you by, by the time you're ready for your skills. So good way to trip people up. Here's a, a you know, with the introduction of you deal, we have so many possibilities of how we can uh, use all of the different uh, tank team meme characters, you know, the ones that can use a character skill at start. So this was just another option. I thought I'd try it. I can show you this in some capture. I didn't use this in my final climb, but it was there as an option. And then the other one, come back to that in a moment. This was being used a lot. So there's always a question, oh, well, does does uh, Demos replace Noel or does Udeal replace Griff? Well, not really because you can use both, you know, so a lot of people are doing this Demos with the two tanks. You know, Griff is still really good and uh, yeah, so it, I wouldn't necessarily use this if I'm going up against a, a provoke tank, but this is a, a pretty reliable team. And you'll see in the capture, I, I've tried uh, Griff with a few different builds. I ended up just slamming him with Agi. So it's the most reliable thing you can do in any of these tank builds is one of your characters should be high Agi because it makes you, uh, if not, it makes you vulnerable to snipers. And you still might not outpace them, but at least it gives you a chance to, because that can ruin your strat. Okay, I do have some capture of that. Not for my final climb, but... And then, let's see. This was just a variation, the all-dark variation. And these are my old favorite ones from last season that I haven't replaced yet. Uh, this one, I just dropped Demos in where New Year Yuri was. Okay, that's all I want to talk about with builds. Let's move on and look at some capture. Okay. So this is like, this is yesterday. This was not the final climb. So here's an example of the double tank. Now you see how um, building Griff as ju just as a tank with an EX main, it made, uh, you know, Noel came for me and almost took me out. Also kind of blew his, his heal passive, so... Not ideal, but I was able to scrape a win here. But it's great because of the way the, t the two Provoke tanks direct hits. Whichever one has the higher HP will direct, so if one of them gets low, it'll direct to another one. Now here, watch, Griff is an edgy sniper. And he didn't run out, but in any case, it's the safer bet. So, back to what I was saying. When one gets low HP, the enemy will be directed to the other one, and then, you know, maybe the other one gets the heal, and they just get directed all around, and it's just, it can be such an annoying team to go up against. All right, so that's the double tank team. Here we have, uh, just for demonstration purposes, we have the wife Gale Udeal team. Just so you can see a, another combination. I always try to target Udeal first, kind of chip the HP down if possible, and then if I'm using Wife, I'll redirect towards one of the bigger threats. Yeah, they managed to kill my Udeal here. So that's why I like having Demos. Like, it, that extra attack break it really helps. So the next battle, if you, re you remember me showing the uh, the triple light DPS team, this is why, this is what really gets my blood pumping. Look what Crow is capable of. Oh! <laughs> and uh, so if if that goes in your favor, you know, they just don't stand a chance. All right, cool. So let's move on to the final 15 minutes. 
And hopefully I can skip around to keep the video a little on the shorter side. All right, first battle here against R.K. Zhao, who was number one last season. I think I skipped him. Yeah, I skipped him, but I do find him next. If I can, there we go. <laughs> get to it. Let's get to it. Okay, so I didn't talk about this one, but this is a variation of my triple light team where I just drop in F66X instead of Saryu. And for the final climb, I liked this just for a little bit of safety. I make sure that I can click the skills in the order I want there. Oh, I, I think I lost this one. Well, actually, maybe I got lucky. Yep, yep, got lucky with the companion there. But there's a little more safety in this one. I was able to tank out, take out tank teams with the uh, the Marie Crow Saryu team, which is again really exciting. But for the final climb, I just wanted a little more safety. Let me get into this here. Oof, the loading, man. Okay, same team. So now you see him up against one of those double tank teams. Go ahead and take out that pesky Demos because when he lives, he has a tendency to mop the floor, just take everyone out. And on one of my runs, I saw a Crow do 400,000 uh, on skill damage. 400,000 per hit. Ridiculous. Of course, when I use F66X, I miss out on that extra party crit that Saryu brings. And Saryu also helps Crow act in AA, where since he has Bold Vigor, he can be very lethal. Let's see. Okay, so now we're going to fight Zhao. And I believe I went with like a safety team here. The classic. Okay. So I have an EX main on U deal. Other other teams I use his own weapon just to maximize HP, but sometimes I want him to be able to do damage. All right, this this went nicely. Oh, very nice. Good old Demos. Cool, I had to stop that video and start making a new one, so let's just go right to the new one here. So now we're in the final 10 minutes, final eight minutes. Quick look at the, the uh, history there. And refreshing for a uh, top 10. All right, Leilara. And what you're about to see is the ultimate showdown of tanks. This battle took way too long. Found you. I'm just gonna let this one play because it's just, it's just hilarious how long this took. Oh man, it's down to the wire! One left. Oh god, it took both skills! <laughs> no! 
Hey, Laura! I love, though, that, oh, that's another thing I want to mention. Uh, like, Udeal's skill is repeatable. Two skills and a companion, and you're casting that thing again. And then, whew, okay. <laughs> we got it. Uh, okay, this one I, I really got to skip through a bit here. What's next? Found you. Okay. Again, uh, I make sure that I go in that order. Light buff, crit buff, burst, crit buff, burst, and then the final skill. All right, short work, nice. Let's try to find the next one. All right. Shirk. <laughs> this one might not have gone that well for me. Let's see what happens. This one, yeah, well, this one was lost. Okay, no problem. And then I was like, yeah, it just didn't go. I wanted it to. And I think I just retried with the same exact loadout. Yep, there we go again. Shirk again. Okay. Support. Okay. Yeah, see, so much better. Just slightly different gameplay. Rank three with three minutes of the season left. So I'm looking good. Where did I place? Where did I place? What do we got next? How's in it? You can see I just kind of went with this light safety team. It was pretty effective. Everyone's using you deal. I only briefly had him on defense. I usually don't like having tank defense. Okay, a rough go there. So, team could maybe use a little work, but it, it's best with Saryu and, and the wife, you know. Just doing it for safety. And then, one final look. This is probably the last battle. And I'm very happy to see... Uh, rank three, I can grab a really short run in the final two minutes here. So not a lot of variety in my team. Uh, attacking team in the final. Oof, snipe right away. Bad news. Let's see how it goes. Yep. Marie allowed us to get our skills off. Very quickly, and I was very happy about that because I was able to come back. Rank three with less than a minute left, and I'm watching the timer. And at that point, you can't do anything. You can't try another battle. You just have to hope that no one attacks you. So at that point, we go and just kind of check everything. One final look. 
pretty good. You know, I had some losses. The rest of the season didn't really look like that, but you know, people like to get tricky in the final hour, kind of like I do too. And changed my defense, didn't realize it was it was out of time. So you notice I was three or four, and then all of a sudden went to 11. And that's where I placed. By the way, I wanna make sure we, we didn't miss it. I think I probably just forgot to mention it, but back in this video, there, there was a, a character, a crow character skill. Where was that? Oh, we, we just have to see that. I have to make sure. Okay, it wasn't that run. <laughs> Too good, you know? When you get to use this character skill in an arena battle, just so awesome. There it is. Okay, so sorry. It's just I didn't mention it. It, it was back. Okay, cool. Boom! <laughs> oh. All right. Well, those are my thoughts about the season. So we definitely saw some big changes, and there are still a lot of build options with these new costumes we got. And kind of excited to see what might happen in season 20. Uh, maybe some normal pool costumes come out, and they tend to love dropping those on us, right? With some kind of PvP meta normal pool costume that you just can't skip, but at least we have that. Reduced pity now. In any case, those are my thoughts on Season 19. I didn't play too much throughout, but definitely in the final days I hit it and had a lot of fun, especially with Crow he was, uh, and Marie. Uh, New Year Marie has kind of really made a comeback now that they introduced Udeal being kind of locked to dark. All right, well, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see here, throw a like in the video, sub to the channel to help me grow and all of that, and let me know in the comments how you did and what you think of the new additions to season 19. All right, thanks so much again, and I'll see you in the next one.